Hey there, Goblins. This week's episode of the podcast is a special release of one of our Patreon videos. We shot this in January, and it basically covers the framework for the Goblin Salvage Rights lore Eric and I are building. The reason we're releasing one of these videos is because, well, we recorded an episode of the podcast and something went wrong, as it sometimes does, and I still want to feed you goblins some juicy info for this two weeks. So here I am. I hope you enjoy the podcast episode, and if you're interested in joining the Patreon, link will be in the description. Thanks so much for watching our videos and supporting us. We'll see you in a few. Prime numbers only. Hey there, goblins! Welcome to Goblin Salvage Rights. My name's Robert, and this is a special episode of our Patreon. This is the first time we've ever created something lore-specific. Yes, and I'm very ready rights. to talk about this, and I'm very excited because we've made how many of these videos so far? Not the patron videos, but like in general, in total. Like the all the videos this, we've yeah. made? Yeah. And <laughs> we're finally getting into Goblin like War? Like 60? Yeah. Maybe? So yeah, this is kind right. of a milestone for us at this Absolutely. point. Absolutely. And uh, it's going to be much faster going forward now that we kind of have an idea of what we're reaching yeah. towards in terms of what does it mean to be a goblin? In our uh, new setting we're creating. This is a nice fucking die. That's a great die. Oh, they're, they're all 20s. All 20s. <laughs> oh my God. The class. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That was a gift from uh, one of my players in Edgewatch, as a matter of fact. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's Tyler. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. She she knows what I need. Yeah. I need 20s all oh the way Oh my God. That's incredible. <clears throat> awesome. Yeah. So yeah, this ended up being way more than we expected to bite off. It did. Yeah. It's one of those things where I envisioned it. And then I dove into it and realized it was a lot bigger and I needed to just spend more time on it. So as a result, uh, January became February and now we're, we're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think we're all going to be better for it. By the yeah, time this basically what we what you ended up doing is writing three, two or three months worth of content. Mm -hmm. And what we did is after we wrote it, I was like, fuck, we need to pull this apart. We need apart. to curate it. Yeah, yep. exactly. So we yeah. kind of ripped it up into sections. And that makes more sense uh, within the confines of the plan we have for 2024. It does, yeah. So uh, what is it we're talking about? We're talking about the Goblin Salvage Rights. And Absolutely. in world, not series of documents, but series of documented understandings that goblins have, sort of like goblin culture, goblin mm -hmm. lore. What were goblins like 100,000 years ago? What are they like today? What is it that, that, that bridges the gap between those two goblins over time and space? <clears throat> so throughout the history of goblins being goblins and historical things going on, uh, I wanted these goblin salvage rites, R-I-T-E-S, these religious practices uh, that they engage in, almost like a family communion, kind of a uh, mm -hmm. knowing where we come from, knowing where we're going, never forget your, uh, your roots. Uh, I very much wanted to codify that. And we have seven of these rites. Because there are seven of you fine folks out there in patron land. <laughs> that I have, you. I have a, I have an obsession over prime numbers. There's also that. So I was like, whatever the number is, it's got to be prime. With Ten and Robert said, no, 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 it's no. got to be prime. Seven or eleven. Seven or eleven. I didn't want to make another one, so I cut a few out. Yeah, there you go. And frankly, a couple of them were kind of like not the most like they were kind of they weren't complete. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. A little bit redundant. Redundant. That's what I was. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, they're still, uh, they're still there. I just need to work on them. But mm -hmm. for now, we have seven that I feel happy with. And Absolutely. With, and I would really love to share that with you folks today. So why don't we get started? Let's just jump right into it. Um, okay. Just another teensy little reminder. Mm -hmm. This is a first draft. First draft. I need feedback. Yeah, we absolutely would love to hear your feedback mm -hmm. on this. Um, we put a lot of work into it. Mm -hmm. And we want to get some more feedback before we put even more work into it. We're probably going to be yeah. releasing like a update video where we take a bunch of uh, feedback over the course of months mm -hmm. and put it into a, a new revision of all of like four or five of these together. Sure. Yeah. And by feedback, what I mean by that, it, it's less, this sucks. This is cool. And more like, well, I have a question about number seven. Mm -hmm. uh, can you be a little bit more specific about this paragraph here mm -hmm. or this line here? What did you mean when you use this word? You know, that kind of feedback makes me think more critically about the material yeah. so I can actually put it into English for everybody. Absolutely. 
Because eventually I, we're going to publish this into some kind of document yeah. for the greater goblin nation. This is setting material. <laughs> exactly. And when we do that, it'll be for non-patrons, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, so you guys are literally helping us bake, set of ice. bake the bread yeah. as it, you know, as we're doing Buy the it. ingredients at this yeah, point. <laughs> literally. Yeah, literally. <laughs> cool. So let's jump right into it then. Okay. So goblin salvage rights, what are they? These are a set of rules, cultural norms and rules mm-hmm. that goblins understand and go by in order to ensure they don't get eradicated off the face of the planet. Mm -hmm. Because many things happen that I'm not going to trouble you with right now. For now, what we need to know is each of these rights correspond with an actual Earth salvage legal right that you have. If you go out swimming into the Pacific Ocean and you find some wreckage, there are a series of rights that you have. And each of these are sort of goblinoid versions of those Mm -hmm. that are also very spiritual in nature to... Goblins. Yeah. So the first one here, we're calling the right of priority. There's an actual right of priority in the real world. It means you get there first. You got priority. You have the legal right to get the salvage. And if ship number two comes to claim it, uh, they don't have the right because you have priority. You get there first. You get the spoils. And then we have a small saying that goes along with them. I almost think of these as what people kind of know them as colloquially. Yeah. They're like aphorisms. Exactly. Short and pithy. Yeah. Sort that, of like a abbreviated versions of the text. That get to the heart of um, whatever the thing is. Yeah. So in the case of right of priority, what we have going for us right now is second salvage is first worst. Second salvage, first worst. Absolutely. All goblins know this. So what does that mean? Uh, be faster. Get more. Show up to the salvage site. And if you get there first, you get the big payday. Big pay for fast play. This promotes rescue efforts and fairness at salvage sites all across the world. This also means that no pile remains unsifted for long and nothing in the world remains lost because we're there. We get there first. Right. We have a sacred obligation to search for salvage lots and then sift through the wreckage and retrieve things. And we want to get there first because we also want the payday. Mm -hmm. That's also a part of what it means to be a goblin. The reason why we do this is because the notion of being lost to a goblin is 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 terrible. Is there there's a historical um, angst that every goblin feels. We are a community of goblins. We are a a civilization. We used to be great. Now we're very very small, and we're trying to survive and be together. So we have this active community where we try to strengthen our bonds as goblins. Sure, we fight and we chew each other and. Uh, You know, do things that goblins usually do. Throw hot oil over somebody's head. um, Take fried pickles and shove them up your nose. (laughs) Goblins are creatures of chaos. You know, Florida shit. But it's kind of more like, I see it more like sibling kind of uh, fighting um, across the uh, entire ancestry. Mm -hmm. So the right of priority, second salvage is first worst. Be faster, get more. Big pay for fast play promotes rescue efforts and fairness at salvage sites. This also means that no pile remains unsifted for long and nothing stays lost for long. To be lost is a terrible fate among our kind. This is honored through the rights of priority, as all goblins know. So there's there's an overarching umbrella right singular of priority, and there will be be, uh, secondary rights beneath that as well. Mm -hmm. So if we're thinking of, I don't know, like the right of communion, uh, various religions in the real world have their own rights that mm-hmm. are subdivided into other sub rights, if you will. Uh, th- this is kind of the framework I was working with. So it's a monetary thing. It's a uh, it's it's about money. It's about adventuring to dig sites. But it also encourages people to be <clears throat> hasty and en- encourages goblins to get there as soon as possible. Yes, which um, incentivizes a culture of of action first. Right. That's what and comes knowing to- other goblins are going to those goblin salvage exactly. sites. And they might be lost. There might be an emergency. Mm -hmm. They might be hurt. That's at the heart of the first Goblin Salvage, right? Right, right. And these aren't in any specific order. Mm -hmm. Uh, Just priority sounds like it should be first, so I put it first. Because it's first. That's all it is. Exactly. All right, so. um, So that's the the right of priority. Next up is the right of abandonment. Right. This this sounds a little aw, doesn't it? Exactly. And it's supposed to. Each one of these legal rights for claims at a salvage site reflects an internal struggle that goblins as a whole have gone through historically. So the saying we put, uh, we ascribe to it is sift and sort, but do not lose. Do not lose your salvage. Don't. 
Just, just don't. It's a horrible thing for a goblin to be lost. And this, again, reflects back to that. So, so um, abandoned ships and cargo make big messes and trip hazards. It is our duty to find these places and ensure that they are no longer abandoned. To be abandoned is the worst fate among our kind. Bad, bad, very bad, bad. Very no bad, abandoned. bad. To abandon a goblin or to pl- a pl- to abandon a goblin or place or thing is among the noblest of goblin deeds. Sorry, to unabandoned. Unabandon. Okay, dyslexia is coming in hot. <laughs> dyslexia is coming in hot. We, we were being playful with the words and they're hard to read out loud. Especially for people like me. <laughs> uh, to unabandon a goblin, a place, or a thing is among the noblest of goblin deeds. To unabandon as in to take something that was abandoned and unabandon it, find it, keep it as your own. Yeah. What was lost is now found. Exactly. That's a sacred tenant among goblins. This is honored in the right of abandonment. And there are many rights beneath that as well. Mm-hmm. But the rights of abandonment, uh, they all involve the idea of taking garbage and making treasure out of it. Yes. That's a, that, that's a sacred idea. It's When I say sacred idea, I mean like it's important to the community as a whole. Sure, you're going to have shithead goblins out there that murder, rape, and pillage and just do terrible, atrocious things because mm-hmm. it takes all type to fill out a world, right? But as a, as a larger ancestral community, when you find these so-called civilized goblins, um, <laughs> these are the kinds of things that they consider important to yeah. themselves. This is their culture. Yeah. All right, so that's the right of abandonment. Let's right jump on to the right of good works. The right of good works. Good wrong or bad wrong. There is no wrong wrong. It's okay to be good wrong. It's okay to be bad wrong. We're goblins. We mess things up all the time. Absolutely. But uh, never be wrong wrong. Exactly. That's, that'll get you kicked out of the tribe. Exactly. Wrong wrong is bad. Don't be that goblin. But what does that mean? Um, sometimes goblins have good intentions, but bad execution. It's a problem. We get blamed when we help and things go bad wrong instead of good wrong. Goblins are... Always give aid in emergency and are absolved from liability when things go good or bad wrong, even when no aid is requested. To be denied aid in an emergency is a horrible fate among our kind. This is honored in the right of good works. So this is based off of another (laughs) salvage right, which basically says if you have, if you come to a site and something's gone south, you know, you are absolved of all, um, of all culpability if you try to aid someone. Yeah. Kind of like in the real world, if, uh, I don't know, if somebody is in trouble and you end up accidentally hurting them while you come yeah. to the scene to help, mm-hmm. and then they sue you two weeks later, and it's like, what the fuck, man? It's very uh, very common in CPR cases. Sure, yeah. yeah. Or also, like, <clears throat> when a, a corporation can, like, uh, throw food out or something like that, or mm-hmm. give food that they're going to throw out to someone, they're absolved of all risk of it poisoning them because the food has gone bad or something like that. Right. Yeah. Which is almost never the case, by the way, <laughs> just like <laughs> FYI, the packaging is literally just like a, a, a rough guess of when the packaging will begin to fail. Oftentimes the food is perfectly fine, especially if it's been pasteurized. So anyway, so are, are you going the extra mile on this explanation because you just fed me raw meat? Yes. Like a dog. Literally. I fed you dog food. Yeah. It was Very delicious. Very high end dog food. So Bam. what does this mean? The right of good works. To, so to a goblin, what do good works look like? Well, there's good wrong. Mm-hmm. You can mess up. And if you have good intentions, that that's fine. You're, you're good. You yeah. still have to deal with the fallout. Mm-hmm. There's a, what was the other one? Bad wrong. There's bad wrong. Um, that's fine too. We, we mess up. It, it happens, mm-hmm. right? So you do, you do the wrong thing and you mess that up. You do the right thing and you mess that up. We mess things up. We're creatures of chaos. That's fine. Just do something. Exactly. Inaction is bad for goblins. That's a cultural no-no. Goblins are verbs. Mm -hmm. Goblins will put a Kool-Aid man-sized hole in the wall. (laughs) And that's good. That's that's bad wrong. Yeah. Because you you broke the wall. wall. Somebody needs to live in that room with the wall, right? Yeah. So there's this notion of of good, bad, bad, good, bad, bad, good, good, um, right, wrong, wrong, right. These sort of like seemingly conflicting things. Depending on the uh, the linguistic order and goblin grammar, um, depending on the order you put them in, they mean very different things. It's like, uh, you know, the Inuits have 30 plus words for snow, 60 plus words for snow. It gets granular, the mm-hmm. idea of right, wrong. And what does that even mean to goblins? Exactly. So the right of good works 
uh, it's intended to be around the concept of you, uh, if there's a goblin in need, you don't turn your back. You know, you can fight, you can pull each other's ears out. You, you could know, try you to help bloody each other up, whatever. Mm -hmm. But like when somebody taps out and they say, brother, I, I need help because we're all being persecuted in this world by the other ancestries, the elves, exactly. the dwarves, the gnomes, everybody. We're, uh, we're everybody's favorite whipping boy. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a stick together clause. And uh -huh. the other thing I want to, I want to touch on here is that in our goblin lore, um, these goblins have a chaos about them, but that chaos is only perceived from the outside in. They have a means and a way about them. They, mm -hmm. they are acting under an order at, at, at a lot of times. Yeah, there's a structure to this chaos a structure that they the perceive chaos. and it's replicatable. That's the important thing exactly. to understand. Exactly. It, it looks weird and it's like, what the hell are you doing from the outside? But from the inside, not only do we understand the chaos, mm -hmm. but if you do the same thing 10 times in a row, you can use the same vernacular. For exactly. It. Goblins understand this. These are the things we understand. All goblins knows these things. Exactly. And that's what we're trying to get across here with the, with the bad wrong and the good wrong mm -hmm. is they don't make any sense to us grammatically. And that's what creates an interesting kind of character about goblin language. Yeah. You got to squint and turn your head exactly. sideways to see it. But, but if you, you look do, at it enough, see it. it makes sense. Yeah. I can't wait to go to work and answer the phone in terms of good wrong, bad wrong. Oh, it's going to be awesome. So I'm, I'm going to work on that. So the right of good works, goblins always give aid in emergency and are absolved from liability when things go good wrong or bad wrong, even when no aid is requested. Uh, to be denied aid in emergency situations, that's a horrible fate among our kind, historically, mm -hmm. because we have hundreds of thousands of years of having endured that. Mm -hmm. So we don't do it to each other. Exactly. And because we want to live. We have to stick continue, together now. We don't do it to the other ancestries either. Mm -hmm. And sh again, sure, there is shithead goblins yeah. and goblins are going to gab. And that's our third right, the right of good works. So the next one is called the right of curative pay. If it sounds like legalistic jargon, it's because the right of curative pay is an actual salvage right in Earth. Mm -hmm. uh, I kept the name because I really like it. Yeah. And it sounds like highfalutin goblin. Can you curative pay? Curative Wait, pay. I'm sorry, what did you say? You give curative pay. You can speak in multiple syllables. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have five. Right. It's wrong good. It's wrong good. <laughs> Do not burn what cannot grow back. Do not burn what cannot grow back. That is the word All of goblins wisdom. know this. All goblins know this. I like this in particular because goblins, they, they torch things. They burn things. Mm -hmm. They wreck things beyond repair. Um, they murder, they eat dogs, you know, that's kind of the archetypal goblin out there. In, Especially uh, in first in edition land. In first edition. In first edition. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They were just sort of like the, the, the laughable boogeyman yeah. of a uh, uh, fantasy. And I kind of wanted to take that and, you know, just sort of like, you know, invert the trope a little bit, if you will. But um, t take this notion of curative pay for a creature of mayhem. What does that even look like? Yeah. So here's the thing. When old gods left, Goblins, we go mad together, and we broke world into many pieces. It is easy to unmake a thing, but very difficult to make it whole again. We must take care to salvage in whole, and not just salvage in part or pieces. To fail in fully salvaging a thing is to fail completely in duty to the old gods. This results in reduced or no compensation. This is honored in the right of curative pay, as all goblins know. So what does this mean exactly? Uh, this means that when you are digging out a, uh, a rusty old boat with a treasure chest in it, you know, off the coast, and you, you need to salvage the entire salvage. That's the boat, that's the chest, that's what's in the chest. Mm -hmm. um, all of it needs to be carefully brought up together because the entire site itself has clues to the history of the world. And is, value. And, and as well as monetary value, right? Yeah, and yeah, we go yeah. and we sell it and that sort of thing. Yeah. We'll, we'll, get to, we'll get to what value actually means among goblins uh, as we go through these rites a little bit further. But the, the essential thing is we are creatures of chaos. We break things, mm -hmm. but we must take care with salvage. This is a sacred obligation. Salvage in whole. Don't wreck things as you're trying to salvage. Don't go too fast. Don't be brutal with your salvage. Go with the care of an archaeologist at a uh, million-year-old dig. Mm -hmm. And if, you know, don't try to do in three days uh, 
Um, what should be done in three weeks? Uh, exactly. Right. Right. Yeah. I couldn't get those words. I got out. you, buddy. I so got you. What does the right of curative pay mean? It means take your time, mm-hmm. dig everything up, because this is a part of our uh, who we are mm-hmm. as people. Sure, there are shithead goblin salvagers out there that are like, fuck this. I don't care about the ship. I just mm-hmm. want the treasure that's in the chest. In fact, I'm going to smash through the chest to get to the treasure. The, those are bad goblins. <laughs> that, that's bad wrong. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wrong, wrong. And these behaviors are not accepted by the whole of the goblin community. Right of curative pay. Do not burn what cannot grow back. And what's interesting when we were making this, I read that line just in the text of this. And I was like, oh, that sounds deep as fuck. It's a little Yoda, isn't it? Yeah. We need to make one of these for each of the Goblin Salvage Rites. And that was a really good call because once you said that, I was able to actually go back and rewrite all yeah. these in a way that it, it just it made me feel so good to read it. Mm-hmm. Like the idea of I am a goblin. Mm-hmm. I'm a creature of chaos. And I do verbs. Mm-hmm. I do violent shit out there. But I take a lover's care and a lover's caress with things that are sacred as far as obligations as I perceive mm-hmm. them and my community perceived them and the hundreds of thousands of years of goblins before me, I perceived them because we're here in this moment in history. And it's so fun to, to like role play this at the table because outside in all, mm-hmm. everyone perceives us as us as goblins, as mm-hmm. like destructive creatures of chaos. Sure. So when we pull, pump the brakes right, and right. go like, ah, this sacred thing, it must be, yeah. must be, it must be protected. And you All can of a do sudden, it comically, exactly. Or you can just be like a, almost like you adopted a new character. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. That 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 turn on uh-huh. your head, I and think, quick. stops the table. It happens, quick. it happens quick. It stops the table. Everyone's like, "Oh shit, something's happening right now." Right. What are this, you doing over this, there? I've what never are you seen doing? Your character exactly. Do this. Oh well, this is a new side this to is salvage. Exactly. This, oh, let me handle this. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want you breaking something. You know what right. I mean. Like th- these are the kind of moments, these are kind of the head turners uh-huh. that we want to create at people's tables. Yeah. And uh, that these absolutely and always inform the edicts and anathemas. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it doesn't, not all goblins will have the same edicts and anathemas, just like people don't. But, um, but this informs it mm-hmm. in the same way many real, uh, real world examples go. Exactly. And that brings us to the right of possession. This sounds really goblin ed, right? Possession, grabbing things. Take to take. Or take to give, but fair is fair. Opaque as fuck, I get it. And it does require explaining. And that's kind of the point draft. of the sayings. Mm-hmm. And I, like, I like how opaque some of these are simply because you can read them and I can see like a goblin sermon on, on the, on the, on the, sermon on the on hill, the mound, you know what I mean? on the mound. And they're taking these sayings and kind of twisting them right. to what they want them to sound like or what yeah. they want them to mean. And the elves and, I and like orcs that. are scratching their head going, this is just gibberish, you guys. Yeah. Shh. No, 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 no. These are goblin salvage rights. You know what I mean? And then goblin ears kind of all turn. Exactly. The, the fucking, the, you know. <laughs> so, you see Gremlins? The movie yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fucking yeah, love yeah. Gremlins. So th- these opaque sayings, almost, I want them to be as opaque as possible while still making sense. Yeah, and I want to rein that back just enough to make it usable. Yeah, for exactly, exactly, exactly. And that's that's a struggle, and that's again why we're putting this in front of yeah, everybody. It's a dance. It's a, it's a balancing yeah. act. The right of possession, take to take, or take to give, but fair is fair. Fair is fair. What does this mean? So much has been lost since goblins broke the world, and all of those sacred possessions cry out for reacquisition. What is yours is yours. What is mine is mine. What is salvaged is also mine. But fair compensation, uh, until fair compensation is reached. Mm -hmm. Possession is everything, and it doesn't matter who does the possessing. This is honored through the rights of possession. What I'm trying to get across here is the thing being under control and in someone's hands, that's what goblins want. Mm -hmm. If it's in my hands, great. I'll be the beneficiary of the value of this thing fantastic but more important than me getting the value out of this salvage is the fact that somebody is um not shepherding it but is a is steward Mm -hmm. custodian over the salvage because being lost it's a terrible thing for goblins to be lost so salvage does not get lost being abandoned awful awful um being unpossessed that that 
that's awful. Mm -hmm. You know, that th these are things that hurt <clears throat> goblins to the quick, to the mm -hmm. soul. So in this right of possession, um, get yours as I'm getting mine, mm -hmm. but we're not slashing each other's throats over it. Mm -hmm. We both understand as goblins, if we're of the culture, mm -hmm. of the people, as it were, that, um, okay, you have that? Mm -hmm. Okay. I go get lunch now. Yeah. Or, and that's, that's comforting. I, I don't have to think about it anymore because I'm not like longing for that piece of treasure you right. have anymore, like a murder hobo in a D&D mm -hmm. game. Mm -hmm. I'm, my, my concern <laughs> is that I trust that you're going to care for that. And if you sell it or give it to someone else, that I can trust your judgment in that. And the compensation is something I want to harp on. It's like yeah. anyone can own a piece of salvage mm -hmm. and anyone can sell the piece of salvage for just compensation. Mm -hmm. The compensation part is really important to me as well because it, it kind of informs the mercantile nature of goblins. Mm -hmm. Like in my mind, goblins almost naturally understand mercantilism in a way that other ancestries don't. And, and this we have kind to of be careful with that because that's born out of real world, um, like Jewish goblin. Yeah, some stereotypes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, I, I really want to be sensitive of that. Absolutely. But I also want to like, I, I want to carve it as a niche for them that mm -hmm. is unique outside of those stereotypes. Right. And has heart. And has heart. Yeah, exactly. it's, not, it's not mercantilism for mercantilism's sake. Exactly. There's a sacred obligation to this. Almost like the, uh, the tenets of Abadar mm -hmm. in Pathfinder. Yeah. You know, the god of like money and cities and law mm -hmm. and banks. Um, th this is more than just, well, we need these things to function and not exactly. kill each other yeah. at the gates. Um, we, it's, it's more than that. It's elevated. Yeah. They want to elevate the mercantilism. Yeah. And th to me, it's like they understand that value needs to be traded fairly. And if we go salvage something, mm -hmm. we can trade each other for those, those pieces of salvage. We don't have to fight over them. It's almost like we're, uh, we're bartering for responsibility more so than currency. Exactly. Exactly. And that's, that's, that's a sacred obligation to goblins. You got this. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we might've been trying to cut each other's throats like a week ago, right? but we're here at this, uh, this church of ours, this sacred space, this salvage site mm -hmm. that we treat with a sanctity. Of, a, of the religion that left 100, 200,000 years ago with the old gods yeah. as the new gods came in. The right of possession, take to take or take to give, but fair is fair. This is a thing all goblins know. So that's the right of possession. It looks like we're moving on to something in the real world is called uh, the right of environmental salvage. Kept the name. Because I liked it. Yeah, absolutely. And I love the little, I haven't actually seen, you switched this since the last time we looked at it. And yeah, I like it. A few hours it. ago. You like I, this? I like Good. this a lot. Good. Because I, uh, I wasn't Break sure. Break one, fix two. That is just so sweet. And to, it's not opaque enough. Uh huh. Maybe, but we, maybe we it doesn't. Work on that. Yeah. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe this one doesn't need to be opaque. Maybe. Because it, it's it so straightforward. It has half the words of Ex the other apparitions. Exactly. Exactly. So what does this mean? Break one, fix two world has been broken a long, long time. We did that. Now we must fix it one salvage site at a time. Make world become whole as we salvage. Make salvage better as we fix world. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. I, I know, I know, I know. I didn't break world, so why am I responsible? I hear you. Well, poor Q, that's why. Now go fix it. Breaking things dirty is normal. And part of process. So when digging for salvage, if you make mana spill, you break things, you clean it up. Then you go do it again somewhere else. Absolutely. This is a thing all goblins know. And this is honored through the environmental right of salvage. So when you're at a salvage yard and you fuck it up, you got to pay a sort of penance. Mm -hmm. you, you make amends there. And you clean it up to the best of your ability. If it's a mana spill, if it's, a, I don't know, you break the timber or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and then when you're done with that bit of salvage and you go and get your compensation and you do your thing and we hand off the responsibility of the possession to someone else, you have a sacred obligation to go clean up another salvage site. Mm -hmm. uh, whether or not the salvage is even there. Right. Maybe some shithead elf dug up a ship with a bunch of, uh, you know, gold doubloons in it. And they just left a mess behind them. Well, you go clean that up and it counts. That's mm -hmm. your sacred penance. And now you're even. Uh, <laughs> and now you're even and in now the you're eyes even. of the old gods. Exactly. Who we, we're trying to find. And that that's also the uh, the unspoken horror behind all of these rites is 100,000 years ago, the old gods left and they did not take us, the goblins, with them. We were the first children of the gods 
when elves and men and dwarves and Eruxi were still learning how to make fire, hill giants, when they were in caves, mm-hmm. scrawling on the walls, uh, you know, shitting themselves before they learned how to make tools out of wood and stone before they discovered fire. But I think Eric is getting a little ahead of ourselves. Yeah. We, 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 we were running cities. We, uh, we're going to be covering these topics in later videos. Sure. And but, I'll, I'll leave it there, but all of that informs why these are sacred absolutely. tenets within the rights themselves. The right of environmental damage, break one, fix two. Mm-hmm. This is a thing all goblins know. The right of environmental salvage. Uh, right of environmental salvage. Yeah, yeah. yeah I Not right. damage. <laughs> I think I was thinking environmental hazard. Yeah, the totally, time I was totally, that. totally. But and it, hazard equals damage to me. Yeah, absolutely. But it it, it kind of goes back to a, a great. Uh, a great wrong that goblin kind has kind of done to this world we yeah. are cooking up. Yeah. And because of that, um, their culture is wrapped around it. It's yeah. almost like a, it's almost like a great, um, a great pain, like a great, yeah. uh, unforgiving we were the hegemony. Sin. Yeah. We fucked it up and we pay the price over many, 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 exactly. many, many years. And uh, now we're sort of trying, we had to make a choice during history. We made that choice. We'll talk about that later. And uh, the Goblin Salvage Rights came out of that moment in time. Think of it like Martin Luther's nailing the, uh, mm-hmm. uh, the what do you call it, to the, to the door, church door. Sure. Um, proclamation. So uh, it's, it's similar to that. And Last that's that but is. not least is uh, the right of arbitration. The right of arbitration. From the mouths of pups can wisdom be found. What is pup? A pup is... Is elf. A dwarf. <laughs> Is is man <laughs> is is gnome all, all the peoples that came long after us? Mm-hmm. When goblins fight everything around, fight break bad wrong bad. I wanted to hear you read this. All out loud goblins so bad. know this thing. Sometimes, third party wisdom is needed because we let our good goblin sense get buried, lost. Abandoned. This is the wisdom of the younger pup peoples are needed to rule on salvage claims and other disputes pertaining thereof and Say this next word. not with some suches. When in need of arbitration for salvage claim, seek out the long ears. Or the long shanks, or the long beards, or the long tails, or really anyone but us. This, this is honored in the right of arbitration. So that word, not, what not, and some such, not together. what some such is, <laughs> not what some, not be what a some lexicon, such. not what some such is, and I can just see how smoothly everybody is going to start slipping this into their oh game God. when they're playing goblins. It's because be once you say it, it becomes almost like Not a rapper's rhythm. Such as, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, like I, a- I very carefully picked the vowels and the, uh, the consonants and spaced them out <laughs> so that there's a musical percussive rhythm to them. <laughs> it's going to be phenomenal. I can't wait to describe it. Oh my so God. What is the we're going to have a fucking dictionary by yeah. the time we're done with it. it is, it's got to be audio. Too. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what is the right of arbitration from the mouths of pups? Can wisdom be found? Mm-hmm. Uh, the younger races, we when we can't agree on what to do at our salvage site mm-hmm. arbitration, we you know I want this uh, artifact and you want this artifact, and we both think that we are the right person to to be custodians of that artifact. Um, we can't we can't be the ones who make that decision which way it breaks. We need to go to a third party, not another goblin. We got to go outside the goblinoid uh, ancestry, mm-hmm. and the reason why that's important to me. Is because we were the hegemony. We fucked up. We got hunted to the point of extinction. We need to survive now, and we we need to we need to not become um, enemies of the other ancestries or as a, best we or can. Or a cultural monolith. Yeah. Or, or a cultural monolith. Yeah. Sure. And uh, we just uh, we kind of need to not ingratiate ourselves to the other ancestries, but we need to be able to reach out and have them help us deal with our own shit. Mm-hmm. Because in the dark annals of history, we proved to ourselves and everybody else in the world, we couldn't handle our own shit. Mm-hmm. So this is our way of extending a permanent olive branch to everybody else. And um, I, I envision in this uh, this setting, this IP we're creating, um, a sort of like a, 
like a rite of passage kind of a thing. Um, in uh, in Mass Effect, wasn't there like a, a a race of people out there where they had a rite of passage where they had to go out there and bring something back of value to the Armada? There, there's something similar in this. I've played Mass Effect three once, and I got like mostly through it. I don't remember the third any one. Of it. Yeah. You started with the worst one. I'm well, so sorry. It's like the most popular one, though. It's it now. Okay. I want seven people to chime in on this and <laughs> okay. seven people to agree that one, it's the best. Second, I don't have a okay. fucking wh- horse in this race. All yeah. right. Like, are you kidding? You've got one right here. Yeah, it's true. Does this guy have a name? Mm. You want to name him Goblins? I think we should call him Artek. Artek? Yeah. From what? The horse that died, a never ending story. That's a <laughs> horse name. I mean, it's a unicorn head. <laughs> Not you anymore. <laughs> so the right of arbitration from the mouths of pups can wisdom be found. We are no longer the uh, the, the hegemony. We're, we're just not. Mm-hmm. We're too few. And the others, their civilizations have grown. Mm-hmm. And um, and we need to we need to rely on them. So they're going to help us settle disputes with a third party. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that'll right bring them. This is a thing all goblins know. That'll bring them closer to the goblinoid species. Yeah. 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 So. Um, so, yeah, these are. The seven goblin salvage rights that we have so far, mm-hmm. there will be many, many, many more going forward. I was jokingly uh, saying to Rob earlier that maybe we should have like a new right every time somebody joins the Patreon. And uh, that would know, be wild. We'll have a, a, a right kind of like dedicated to them as mm-hmm. they come in. And then it'll just get bigger and bigger as we go. And before long, we'll have like a freaking like biblical source of, a, of rights for <laughs> goblins over the next couple of years. Or, or like maybe different, maybe there are like, geographic rights that that some people totally have created for their own use oh sure yeah you gotta gotta be able to like uh the the salvage rights in the desert Mm -hmm. need to have a certain percentage of similarity with the salvage rights in like the himalayan high mountains exactly but it can't be the same you you just can't you gotta Mm -hmm. you gotta cultivate it for the for the terrain and like in the real world nautical salvage rights are are similar to that Mm -hmm. i mean the the coral reefs down there in the in the tropics um there's a different like a legal structure for salvaging off of like the Bahamas and there is Alaska. Absolutely. And uh, it's just, you, you got to know the laws of the land. Mm-hmm. And this is sort of like a, a cultural touchstone that gets customized depending on where you are in the world. And that book is going to be fucking fun to write. Absolutely. When we get to that eventually. Absolutely. So from these seven, uh, you can kind of see where we're going here. Mm-hmm. We want to deal with how, why, why is salvage important to mm-hmm. goblins and how do we get money from it? And how do we keep from just gutting each other mm-hmm. uh, over these treasures that we're all going for um, as our own sacred obligations and pushing forward through the timeline. Also, it, it, it gives a moral compass to goblins that we really haven't seen in a lot of other media before. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we haven't really seen a lot of goblinoid, especially when they're like the, you know, when you make something the punching bag of a setting for so long, mm-hmm. they're intentionally not given a lot of deep lore sure simply because if you make them deep and interesting they you're no it's you're no longer allowed to it's like harder to pick on them it's harder to pick on them. yeah 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 exactly right um because they have oh, reasons God, for the feelings? chaos yeah that's weird uh, i thought they just had treasure yeah exactly so um so we're, we're kind of trying to like take this namesake of ours yeah. and start with that as our first yeah. piece of real and lore Pathfinder second edition was a huge inspiration for Absolutely. me and how like between 1e and 2e Goblins didn't do an about face, but like PC goblins, mm-hmm. you, you have your scholar goblins, you have your goblins that can read, mm-hmm. you know, back in first edition, a reading was anathema, you know, that that's how they steal your soul. It pulls the words from your mind and you literally your soul with it. You forget the yeah. words. And sure, there's goblins that are going to be like that. Mm-hmm. They're kooky and they'll be there. But I kind of like the idea that like, even if you're a, uh, even if you're a homicidal maniac goblin you might still honor the sacred yeah. rights of the yeah. goblin salvage rights yeah. and then be a horrendous <laughs> shitty human being outside of that. You meet a, you, goblin. you, the PC who's like, let's say good or whatever, right. meet uh, mm-hmm. an evil goblin in your, you know, sand point game mm-hmm. and you both stop because there's a piece of, th- yeah. th- you both, you both stumble on a salvage situation yeah. and you both kind of like, there's like a buried door that looks like it's thousands of years old under the yeah, sands yeah. and you guys are there because it's near an oasis, whatever. Um, All right. We got to figure change. this out. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, the goblin like, okay, we're, we're, We'll put this on hold. Above, I'll kill you tomorrow. Yeah. This is above our petty squabbles. This is yeah. something sacred. You know, <laughs> this is our sacred obligation. Exactly. And I love that. Yeah. It's, it's kind of that, you know, rule of cool sense of community that we have mm-hmm. on discord. Yeah. Um, but like, 
I don't know. It just seems like it's delicious and more and thick mm-hmm. and, and just ripe for exploration. Absolutely. And I haven't seen it done yet mm-hmm. in a TTRPG. That we know of. If you know of any, of. if you know yeah. of like a place that's doing something similar to this, yeah. let us know. We'd love to see it. Yeah. And gain inspiration from it. Absolutely. Because uh, I love this idea. I want to push it forward mm-hmm. and I want to do it in a way that's, um, that's sensitive to things like, you know, Jews and goblins, that, that whole yeah, like, uh, dichotomy and, and yeah. fantasy over the centuries. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't want to deal with the, uh, Absolutely. what was it? Gringotts bank in, uh, oh, God. In fucking in Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I, I want to steer clear yeah. of that sort of association yeah. if, if, as we will. Yeah. Yeah. My, my Jewish godmother would be rolling in her grave if we didn't do this that, justice. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So let's yeah. not, let's not do that. Yeah. And, uh, and you guys are here to help us stay on track. Absolutely. And be extra sets of eyes. Mm-hmm. Um, consider yourself sensitivity consultants if you will. <laughs> Or not. Yeah. Yeah. You have, you have been deputized. <laughs> exactly. Or exactly. not. <laughs> or not. <laughs> and um, that's what I've got. Yeah. My intent is to uh, have this in a document mm-hmm. so that we can attach it to this video. Yeah. It's going to be down below mm-hmm. either a link to the Notion page that I've created, created or just pasted in the Patreon notes. I'd love to get this thing like illuminated manuscript mm-hmm. at some point. Oh, and make we'll it a get thing there. We can distribute to we'll people. We'll get there. Absolutely. Um, yeah. This month is this. Next month, we're going to go- talk about a secret society of goblins. Mm-hmm. We're going to start digging deeper into this lore yeah. and then Which in, share goals above and beyond the values we're exactly. talking about. That's They've February. Other things they want that's to get the month done. we're in right now. So yeah. that's going to come out at the end of the month. And then um, in March, we're going to come out with, uh, I, I haven't decided to push. I'm pretty sure the schedule says that we're supposed to be doing our first goblin iconic. Sure. So I think from we push there, that. we're going to push that. Yeah. And we're going to talk about like the background mm-hmm. or maybe will combine the Goblin Iconic with a story about the lore. So they are yeah. connected to the old lore in some way that allows us to describe the Iconic, mm-hmm. but also describe the old lore and the kind of the background that all of this is leading to. I think that's a smart move because I've created yeah. about a half a dozen Goblin Iconics, uh, yeah. minus the crunch. I just said like, this one's a gunslinger juggler yeah. or whatever it is. I Here think. you go, Robert. <laughs> and um, Make it good. <laughs> and, and I did it just to have a proof of concept. Yeah. But as we went through this exercise over the past couple of weeks, I, uh, I want to go back to my yeah, iconics. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, so yeah, that secret society you mentioned, mm-hmm. um, the GSR folks, uh, writ large, all of it is going to inform who the individualized, um, iconics are going to be. So I do think we need to sit on this just a little bit longer mm-hmm. and push it in yeah. favor of other stuff. Absolutely. So thank you for being patient with us. We really and appreciate it. I hope it. you're digging what we're having to show you. Absolutely. Thanks so much for supporting us as always. It means the world to us. Uh, I know it's only like five bucks or whatever, but it's a signal in the darkness that says we should keep going. That's right. And that's what we're doing. So. This is a thing all goblins know. This is a thing all goblins know. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. As always, keep it keep weird. It